Hi everyone, in this video let's have a look at the module discipline. I'm going to log in as an admin and once I've logged in I'm going to go for the menu and choose the option academics under which I have the module discipline. So here under the module discipline I can view the list of disciplines that is already created so you can see each of these disciplines and in case we want to have a look at each of those disciplines and the information about it, you can select the title here where you can view who were part of this discipline. The event and who was complained about it, who complained about it, who it would complain against and the jury and responsible official. All these members and the information can be seen here. And as you can see, the information about the event can also be explained along with that the verdict can be seen. This is about the previous disciplinary action that has been created and it's been solved. You can see the status solved and when you go for actions, you can see the actions that was created. Let's say who was the convicted and the user's information are displayed here. So this is how a disciplinary action could be viewed from the list that you can see below and you have the option where you can search for the particular discipline actions or you can sort it on the basis of these categories so these these would be the different types of criteria that can be used to filter this disciplines and you can see the one that has been solved the one that is still pending and you can see all now to create a new one you can go for the option new and by default this complaint number gets created and you need to provide a title and I can provide a description and I'm going to give a trial date let's say I'm giving a trial date and here I'm going to say who is the user for whom the complaint was registered for Let's say it was complained by an student and I'm saying the complaint was against another student so you need to mention the name of the student as well. It could be more than one student as well. So I'm going to give a name and the next thing is the jury. Jury could be an employee or it could be an admin. So I need to enter the jury name, response of officials so you can see the responsible officials name listed here so you can add more than one where you can keep searching for the names and add those employees now once this is done in case if there is any related information that you want to share with all of these users so that they can have a look at it in their login you can attach a file by going for choose file and you can choose a file that is present and submit it so this is how a discipline could be created and it could be shared with the members who are a part of this discipline. And it, once it's been created, you can see them on my dashboard. On selecting, you can see information about it. So each of these officials or members can view the same in their login because this discipline has been shared with them. Let me log in as this employee E3 because the employee is a jury member. So let's login and once you've logged in you can go to academics you can go to discipline and here you can see the title the discipline or the complaint that I've created you can see the complaint number you can select it and right here you get to view so this is how it was visible for the admin and being a part of this complaint I can be the same where I can add a comment so I can add a comment so this comment is going to be viewed by the other users who are part of this complaint now I can add a complaint here so uh, regarding this complaint I can make any comments uh, where I can share it and that could be viewed by the other members Once the comment is added, you can post it and this comment could be viewed by the others as well. So as an admin who is a responsible official, I'm going to log in as an admin and let me view the comment shared by the 
one of the jury member so I'm going to academics I'm going to discipline and here I get to view it and as I can scroll down I can see the employee name and the comment that was given you can reply to the same comment as an admin as well so this is how a discipline can could be created and various members or employees could be tagged to it and we can get information and the suggestions regarding the discipline so once these suggestions have been seen here so these suggestions could give a verdict so the final verdict could be taken where let's say now the jury member is going to take the final verdict uh, or the responsible official they can choose to close the uh, discipline by going for the option close on closing the discipline it is mandatory to fill in the verdict and comment and the convicted person so as you can see here I'm going to give a verdict I'm going to add this verdict here and provide this comment if anything is there and I need to choose the convicted person out of the two students I'm going to select one and I can save this so on selecting you can see the action that is being taken now the convicted person is being chosen and the decision is only being made whereas the discipline is still open so for us to close the discipline we need to go for the option close and selecting ok the discipline is closed right here and you can see the discipline has no option to edit whereas you can only delete it this is all about the module discipline thanks for listening